There are three main foundations for the Icelandic economy. It's fishing and fish production. And then uh, there is uh, tourism. And then there's the uh, uh, industries, uh, power intensive industries like aluminium production and, and now silica production. So these are the three main foundations for the Icelandic economy. And we, are, we have all of, these, uh, all of these industries here in Grindavík. We have, uh, Grindavík is the third largest fishing uh, town in Iceland. Uh, we have Arctic char production, as I said earlier. And then we have geothermal power, uh, which is uh, utilized for many, many industries. And we are working within the, uh, we, we have uh, put forward a, a concept of a resource park where we can utilize every stream from, from the companies. Uh, there is, there is uh, power, there is hot water, there is cold water. And then uh, the, uh, the power plant produces CO2 and, uh, and we are utilizing all these streams to produce uh, food, to produce uh, 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 ingredients for, for cosmetics production, uh, for example in the Blue Lagoon, and for SIF cosmetics. And, uh, and these, these are really important businesses for us. And then there is the tourism. The tourism is thriving now. Uh, every, every year we get more and more tourists. And, and uh, uh, most of them come to Grindavík. Uh, we have 900,000 visitors a year coming to Grindavík, to the Blue Lagoon and the surrounding area. And it's, it's becoming a really important part of our economy, uh, with the, uh, uh, especially with accommodation and, uh, and restaurants here in town are now thriving. And this little cafe we are sitting in here, it's very typical for the town of Grindavík. It's a fishing, it's a fisherman's coffee shop. You can come here, people are talking about the industry, you're by the harbor, you're witnessing the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the economy and the society here and the culture within this, this small coffee shop. So people really, really like that when they come here. Just to see how the, uh, the culture of a small fishing village is, is, uh, is to, the, to the guests. The life of a fisherman in Iceland is pretty simple. We just go out fishing and like me, I stay, stay out for a month and I work eight hours at a time and I'm off shift eight hours and it's just simple. It's just eat, sleep and work. <laughs> I go fishing all, all year long, every month of the year for one month at a time. Then I'm at home for one month. But it, it doesn't matter which time of the year it is, if it's spring, autumn, winter or summer, we always go out for one month at a time and I stay home for one month. But on the, on the little boats, they maybe go out at sometime in the night time or early in the evening and they stay out till the, maybe the evening, the day after. And the, um, the type of fish that is most caught, I, Usually we're trying to ca get caught, haddock, Greenland halibut and redfish, but the smaller boats, they're mostly trying to get caught. <laughs> 